Well, there he is, Wan Nam Gun, last year's silver medalist, lost out to the Russian who's just departed. It was against Milad Beji Hachigani, the world champion. Numerous Grand Prix successes as well. Senya Shusha brings them underway in this one. Bianca Walton and his Alexandra Kowalska will be up after this. The men's minus 80. Man Nam Gun, the man from Prungseng High School in Korea. Stands at 1 meter 80. Milad Bechi Harchigani stands at 2 meters tall. The big man from Baku the bigger reputation, the fighting style of Juan Nam Gun, he loves to come forward, but will he be able to do it in this one? Easier said than done. Tail of the tape, obvious, the man in red, the bigger of the two. The desire from Juan Nam Gun, pretty clear. In the short distance. We'll chat with him in the hotel before we came out, Juan Nam Gun. More than aware of the threat. Milad Beji Hachigani. Oh! Headshot that he also knew that he could go for. That's the game job, but Reza, the Aziri coach, noticing that six points went up there for one head kick, unless there was two, unless it was a double tap. Senya Shusha just confirming there. There was one kick to the face, which should be three, but six went on the board instead. So that's the contention from the Azerbaijan coach. That is, of course, the domain of the electronic sensor. So let's see what they've got to say about this one. If you obviously touch the head guard twice, you're going to generate six. But let's have a look here. Takes the first head kick. One. Front leg counter here, scores. One touch to the head here. Is there another touch there? Well, we shall see. As the coach knows what he thinks he saw. Tense times now. Men's minus 80s. Maxim Ramsov, the defending champion, into the final. But who will join the Russian? Milan Beji, Hatsugani, or Juan Nam Gun of Korea? Amelie Mares, what's the result? Yep, successful there. So the card returned, three points taken away. Great coaching from Reza, the man from the Islamic Republic of Iran, presiding over the Aziri development. This one developing nicely. So three will be given to Beji Hachigani. Yes, there we go. One point lead for the Korean. Maybe the shorter of the two, but he showed that ability to go to the head. There's the head kick round the corner. They're doing well is the shout from the Korean coach in the corner. Sorry, my friend. is not up to, to help. You can tell what happened there, big. Flexible. That's another head kick. Good from the green, throwing himself back into this. And Nam Gun. Protesting there. He's holding. Coach deciding not to play the card. Nine all and an engrossing first period. Only the first minute. He shared 18 points. Make that 19. Gamjom given. 
Take himself into the distance. Generates the gam jump. Conversation with the referee there just to make sure that the protectors are working. They're working hard, both men here. Into the final minute of the first round in this under 80 kilogram battle. Maxim Ramsov of Russia, the defending champion, is through. The big news here though. Ide Hun, undefeated for so long, is beaten by Great Prince Bradley Sinden. He will be in the final. Who's going to be in the final of the men's tennis 80s? Milan Beji Hachigan is showing his flexibility, showing his dexterity and his quality. And Nam Gun trying to battle forward. point game. To go in the first. Yeah, 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 Good shot again from Munnam Gun, working to a standstill here. Good shot from Beji Hachigani, picks a shot. Head shot though from Munnam Gun, finds the answer. Well, they couldn't be separated all the way through. Is there one more score on the board? Well, it's all tied up, 18 points each. What a performance, Milad Beji Hachigani. He knows he's going to be dragged into deep water in this one. dubious joy of training for many years at Prunseng High School, know how hard they work on that physical fitness. Van Nam Gun comes from that stable. He's produced the fitness to get himself back into this against the much taller opponent, the more decorated fighter. Big man from Azerbaijan. Keeping it close, 18 all. So great to have you with us here in the World Taekwondo Grand Slam here in Wuxi, China. Both men producing a top class performance here in the first round, the men's minus 80s. Plus 67 is it's up next. Bianca Walton against Alexandra Kowalschuk. The clock ticking now. It's a request for a test from the protectors. That will truly be done. Plenty of points scored by both men. The was working perfectly. One now good. Shorter in stature. Shortage of fitness in the game fights forward. forward. Milad Beji Hachigani, the big reputation, undefeated run up to the Olympics. A headshot there, gets close for Van Nam Gun. Testing times for both men. Our guards fixed, and both on guard now. This, of course, the semi final session. Number two, the minus 80s. Maxim Ramsov, the defending champion, is through. Finding a way through there was both Van Namgun and Milad Beji Hachigani. One point separates them, and that will be truly expunged by that gam jump, falling over. Three all. Back around the corner for Van Nam Gun. Green coach advises to go with the right leg. Beji Hachikani does. Green does likewise. Big back leg blast to the body. Punch from Van Nam Gun. What a fantastic arena in which to fight. All the cameras, all the action. Here under the lights. The men's welterweights will have a little conversation. 
to make sure that the protector system is working. If he's not included, then she's in the centre. She'll probably know from your Christmas shopping. Yeah, the festive season, it's all about the footwork and the fighting. We'll be walking in a Wushi Wonderland at the end of this. We shall see. And I'm going from Korea in blue, Milad Veji Hapchigani. Guess what? Well, he's a dead shot from the big Aziri. Takes a tumble as he throws it. Senya Shusha. Things to continue. Nice front leg to the face there. Points of a deficit. The edge goes straight through there. Van Nam Goon doesn't waste any time, showing his power. What a fight he's putting on here. Creates the gam joint. Creates the gap at least. Be careful of the left leg, the call from the green coach. Low leg block there. Shot round the corner from Milad Beji Hachigani. Coach looking for some movement, trying to create and change the distance. And I'm going understandably trying to catch his breath here. Oh, it was 18 all at the end of the first. Another high scorer here. It's another back leg from the man in blue. I'm given. Can't be separated at the end of the first. Scarcely enough time to separate them at the end of the second. Back leg turning kick from the Korean. Milad Beji Hachigani on the front foot. Who can get the crucial score? The answer is no one. 12 all. I'm sure the person most delighted by this will be Maxim Hamsov of Russia, the defending champion, already through. I'm sure sitting with his feet up in the call room, resting and recuperating before tomorrow's final. <laughs> 60 points shared by both men over two rounds. What a fight this is turning out to be. complete the men's minus 80s then went into the plus 67s and the heavyweights Bianca Walton and Alexandra Kowalczyk up next Madeline Gorman short against Rebecca McGowan Dean Codon and Sun Hong Yi for the heavyweights the last one will be Sanji Bardani of Iran against Song Jai Singh of China but who's going to be on song in this one? Van Nam Goon a grimace to show the gum guard First from the Korean. Back leg. Oh! back leg, of course, the furthest away. Front leg. Stand oh! the front leg. Takes the ball. Two, two metres tall. Six foot five. Good punch there from Wan Nam Goon. Loves to work on the close distance. Good shot again there from the green. Headshot just whistling past. Again from one now, good. Steps forward. Big chop up to the face of his own there, the green. Credit the coach going for it. Don't go back. Is the call. Last minute of this third round. And I'm good in the ascendancy. He's been in the final before. He's up against Maxim Ramsov before. Will it be again? The physical fitness of the Korean proving the difference down the stretch here. Habits and instinct from both men here. 
Beji Hachigani, the man in red, absolutely exhausted. And his chance is being extinguished for making it into the final. Pannam Gun down this road before. Half a minute to go in the third. Not much time left now for the man from Azerbaijan to find an answer. The respite that was needed. One man will be grateful for it, and he's in red. He's chasing shadows for a moment, breathing heavily, tries with a head kick. Needs something special, back leg. And I'm going nice sidestep, and that is going to make the biggest difference. Excellent stuff from the Korean. Super stuff. He's been in the final before, and he is again. and above female category, Bianca Walton of Great Britain or Alexandra Kowalschuk. Will it be the Pole or will it be the Brit? <laughs> well, towards the closing stages of the semis, the last four matches Kowalschuk and Walton, McGowan, and Gorman Short, Inkyodon and Sun. Sajid Mardani of Iran will close it out against Song Jai Shing. If you're joining us on 